Hi everybody and welcome to this video. I'm Lucas. Today I want to show you a powerful Studio One Pro workflow, especially if you often work with templates. In this video you'll learn how to build your own searchable library of track templates, instrument presets, loops and effect chains, access them quickly and easily reuse elements from previous productions. We will be using Studio One's song data import feature and some of you will say, ah, import song data. That's this feature here under song and import song data where you can open a song and then import elements from this song. But we are actually not using this dialog in this video, but instead we'll do everything from the files tab in the browser, which in my opinion is one of the most underrated features in Studio One. Let's start with a practical example. I'm looking for a plucked string sound, not a guitar, but something that's more electronic, but still organic. I remember using something like that in a track a few years ago, but I don't recall the preset name or the instrument that I used for this sound. That's where the Files tab comes in. To use the Files tab, you first need to open the browser and then make sure you resize the browser so that you see all the tabs. And in case you still don't see the Files tab, right-click, choose Customize and here make sure that the Files tab is checked. The Files tab is basically a file browser inside of Studio One similar to Explorer on Windows or Finder on the Mac, but you can do some special things that you can't do with Explorer or Finder. Let me show you. Inside the Files tab, I have custom tabs set up. One for my orchestra template, one for my sample libraries, and another one for my Studio One songs. Now to find the song I'm thinking of, I just need to open the search bar, and now I just enter Diary Secrets, that's the piece I'm looking for, and here are the results, here are some audio files, and here are the actual documents, my songs. Now I'm gonna right click and choose Show in Context, and Studio One jumps right to the folder. Now here's the magic. I can expand this song file as if it were a normal folder, and Studio One will show me the whole structure of that song. There are instrument tracks, and I can see that there are two audio tracks, and if I'm not sure which track is the one I'm looking for, because they are both called Contact 6, then I can just drag it into my song and listen. And we also see the folder tracks. This icon here shows it's a folder. And we can expand it. And here are the tracks with the strings presets I was looking for. And I remember that it was either Magic Harp or Childhood Memories. But it's easy enough to just hold shift and select them all and then drag them into the song. And it loads all the instruments so I can play them and see which of them fits best for my song. I could even drag the whole folder, say a string section from a previous project or all guitars directly into my new song. I don't need to select all the tracks, just the folder, and then Studio One imports the tracks and instruments automatically, including all the channel settings. The events come in two, but that's no problem. One click on the folder event selects everything, so I can delete the old notes and just keep the instruments. So this is extremely useful when you want to import stuff from other songs. But it gets even better. If I know I'll need these sounds regularly, I can simply right-click on the folder and choose New tab from here. Now this folder becomes a root tab in my browser under the Files tab. So I can create new tabs here for any files I may need as a personal library, so to say. You can do this with entire songs, with folder tracks inside a song, or even with mixer channels inside a song. Here, for example, these are all the presets used in this song. And here I can see all the channels. And when I select main, then I have basically the effect chain of my main channel with these both effects. And I could just take this folder and drag it into the insert slot of one of my channels. And you're not limited to Studio One songs or projects. Any folder on your hard drive can become a root tab. I have one dedicated to my own music loops organized by category. 
If you're not familiar with Music Loops, Music Loops is a special Studio One format and they are especially powerful because they store MIDI, all the notes, an audio preview of the MIDI and the instrument preset, including all the insert effects, all in one container. The great thing about Music Loops is that I can preview all these Music Loops instantly, just like audio files. And if I like one of them, maybe this one, then I can drag it into my song and I instantly get the original part with all the notes and the right instrument preset. Now you might think that the browser toolbar is much too small for many tabs. But don't worry, click the little arrow and you'll see a full list of all your tabs. And since Studio One Pro version 7.1, you can also detach the whole browser and drag it wherever you want. Maybe you want to use a separate monitor for your presets. And of course, you can rearrange the tabs as you like or rename them. I'll call this one strings because that's what it is. And now it's always available for me to use. And let me repeat that that can be any folder on your disk. It could be songs, elements within songs. It could be music loops or audio loops or single audio files like one shots, effect sounds, or even video files, basically anything. And don't forget the search function. It works in any folder. For example, if I need piano loops, I just type piano and it will show me all the results in my music loops folder. So that's how you can turn your folders, songs, and even parts of your songs into a flexible template system. I hope you found this useful. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss future videos. And if you don't have Studio One Pro yet, check it out via the link in the description. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.